just levitate Hey guys, so Good Smile showed off a couple new Landeroids and Figmas, so let's go over them. We got Akale Karma from Anatsu, Kyo Chitsu, and he's looking pretty good. I mean, um, the eyes look great, that mouth is a little bit, bit disturbing, honestly. I wonder why it's gonna look like painted. He also has his gun, so let's keep moving because there's a few of them. Next up is Chiyota Nagasi Najisa na 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 Nagasi Najisa Also from the same series as the last one Looking good There's some good hair separation on the front But man, I have been saying this for years Come on, good smile Nandroid SH figure arts Add more hair separation to the top It's always a plus Looks good, has the knife, the outfit looks great. Uh, again, we have to wait to see it painted. So next up is Alucard from Castlevania. Now this Alucard, I'm pretty sure is based off the Netflix Castlevania and he looks awesome. But the problem that I have with him is this. We don't need an Android version. We need a Figma version, DX edition with all his weapons and the transformations because I want the wolf, I want the mist, I want the bat, I want all that, I want the sword, I want the shield. So good smile, if you're watching this video, please give us a Figma version with all his weapons. Either it's a normal version with everything or a DX edition, I don't care, I will buy it as long as it comes with all the weapons. Of course, this one doesn't need any introduction. We got the Nandroid Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Dun, 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 dun. Yes. And this is based off the anime series, of course, the original cartoon, which is awesome. Raphael, Michelangelo, Leonardo, and Donatello will all be coming in Nandroid form, but, but just like Alucard, we need Figma versions. We have the NECA ones, which are pretty awesome, but I think if Figma puts their foot down and they bring their best I think they can make a figure or four figures in this case that's gonna rival that NECA one or it's gonna be a lot better so we'll have to wait and see I've been holding off on getting turtles the NECA turtles for a long time because I I've been waiting hey I want to see what SH figure arts can do I want to see what Figma can do and come on Nandroid is a good start give us Figmas as you can see here, we're getting Nandroids of Hollow Life. We got Morika Giope, Katanashi Kiara, Nino Mai Inanis, and Wasson Amelia. So, yeah, if you're interested in this series, then uh, we got you covered. They got you covered there in Android form. Next up is Barbie. What? Yeah, Barbie. Now, the thing here is, are we getting Barbie from based off the dolls or is this based off the movie? Because you know there's Barbie movie coming out, so I don't know which is based off. I'm guessing the dolls, but I could be wrong about that. I don't know anything about Barbie, so sorry guys, I cannot tell you. But yeah, we're getting a Barbie Nandroid. And we're getting the Miraculous Ladybug! Yes, we're getting him as an android. I know a lot of people are gonna be really, really darn happy. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you want Cat Noir and want her as freaking Figmas. And I agree, they should be Figmas. Their body types seem to feed Figma a lot more than Nandroid. So hopefully this Nandroid turns into a Figma version that will be pretty cool and I know a lot of people are probably gonna go crazy about it if it comes in Figma 4. And of course we got the Nandroid Lightyear, yes Buzz Lightyear from the movie. And as you can see there, you might be thinking, hey that armor looks a lot more accurate, yes. That armor is the one from the last part of the movie, I wasn't able to get the SH Figure Arts one by the way. but. Uh, this is what it looks like at the end of the movie 
uh, spoilers of course so it, it looks great and man we need a Figma version of him because uh, I wasn't able to get the SH Sugar Arts Sally and I waited and I tried and nothing but we need a Figma version of him especially if they go with this armor which is the one from the end of the movie well it looks like it it could uh, the, the big difference is the freaking backpack and it doesn't have the light ear uh, name on the chest so yeah this could be the just the alpha suit the normal one but yeah we'll we'll have to wait and see we got goofy nendry goofy which is nice in the goofy that is nice um i don't need a goofy because i already have the kingdom hearts one which is my favorite version of goofy um now of course a classic goofy would be pretty awesome but i'm pretty sure um Kaiyodo Rebel Tech will probably do that to go along with the classic 1936 Mickey, which I do own and I do have a review on. I, I love that figure, so hopefully they do that. If you like Omori, here comes Basil. Yes, as an android. Um, that's all we have on it, so let's keep going. Of course, if you like Cyberpunk, if you still like Cyberpunk, and you're interested in the Edge Runner comes David Martinez. Yes, David Martinez will be joining as an android. But Lucy will also be joining him as an android. So you got two new characters. Um, hopefully they come as Figmas and they come with more weapons so you can use some of the other figures. We got the Nendoroid Beatrix from Slime Rancher 2. So, I have never played this game, or I don't know, if, I'm pretty sure it's a game, but it uh, looks very colorful, it looks like it's gonna be pretty interesting. We got Fox Akuma here, looking nice, and also an android, and this, you, you can just tell by the design, this guy needs to be a Figma. And Jill Stingray, also as an android, she has to be a Figma. And of course, we got the Android Cuphead, Cuphead and Mugman. Um, these two, I think they're gonna fit in very nicely as Nandroids. There's some characters that just fit so nice as Nandroids, just like Sonic the Hedgehog, which I do own, which is really awesome. And there were a thousand toys did make versions of them but they're really darn expensive they're like 80 bucks each and they look a little bit cut up too cut up so i think these ones would do a better job at recreating them especially when if they come with the effect parts and everything that's gonna look awesome okay so we're getting close to the end and as you can see here this guy is from mob psycho um 103 his name is Regen, and he looks nice, you know, pretty much a normal business look, business guy with some weird shaped eyes, and that's pretty much it. That, that's all I know about this character, so yeah, I don't know much. And of course, we got Kageyama, uh, looking good, looking good, no hair separation at the front there, uh, and they keep it very simple. So, and some people are gonna like it, some people are not, but hey, um, it, he, looks, he, he looks good, you know, as an android. Remember, an android is chewy fight, so still, pretty nice. And if you were wondering, hey, the Hollow Lights are also getting a Figma? Yes, they are. And there you go. We're getting Waze or Wise from Ruby as a Figma. Which is cool. I think that dress, that outfit is gonna look awesome as a Figma. Especially, I'm loving that deep red color that she has inside the boots as well. It's gonna look awesome. I'm very interested to see how they're gonna make this figure look. Are they gonna go with a fabric outfit? Or they're gonna go with fully plastic? Or they're gonna do both? That's gonna be very interesting. And same goes for Ruby Rose. Man. The black and red color combination looks great, and again, like I said, 
either you're gonna do a fabric cape, maybe a fabric skirt. We'll have to wait and see, but I think that that would, if it was to me, I would go with fabric cape with the hood and a fabric skirt, and then the rest of the figure can be plastic. You know, I, I, I think that's how I would do it, but yeah. And that does it, guys. That does it for right now. That's all we have. I will definitely keep you guys updated if they post more. And again, more than the race than Figma, sadly. But that seems to be the trend. Hopefully that changes at some point um, because we have to see more Figmas. I want to see more Figmas. I want to see more characters getting the Figma treatment. And like I have said before, I want to see Link from Breath of the Wild as a Figma. Come on, guys. Do it. Come on with the Ocarina Time one. Just Majora's Mask, Sphere D, that would be pretty awesome. Come on, come on, come on. Let's do it. Let's jump into it. I don't care if I have to pay over 100 bucks for them. I'll pay them. Gladly. And same goes for that freaking vampire thorn. You guys need to get Alucard in Figma 4. They have to do it. They just have to. That would be killer. So yeah, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys next time.